Welcome to day six of my Mallorca cycling trip. Unfortunately, today was also the last day uh, as we're due to fly back to the UK tomorrow afternoon. So after a very easy rest day yesterday, we were joined by Jamie Strathern who runs the Jolly Good Velo Facebook group. Uh, and we took a trip up to Alcudia Bay and then up the Col de Cruetta. Now, unfortunately, the weather today was, uh, the, it was fairly sunny, but the wind had really picked up. So we had some very, very strong winds, which made cycling up the bay a little bit difficult uh, as we had a, a fairly strong cross headwind. But once we got to Palenza, uh, we decided to go up the Col de Cruetta. Um, now we did climb this back on Thursday, it was basically the first ride that we did uh, and I would have liked to have got a PR then but uh, unfortunately down at the bottom there was some traffic and some buses which just and we just stood still for, for a good couple of minutes so the PR wasn't uh, there practical for me so I thought I would go for it today. So as I approached the bottom of the climb, I could see on my Garmin that the PR, the live segment kicked in uh, and I, I just started to chug my way up the climb. Uh, it was fairly hard going. I think um, the, the few days that I've been cycling out here has taken a little bit of a toll on my legs and my fitness, um, but I was still climbing a lot stronger than, uh, than I did the last time I climbed it. Uh, but yeah, I just chugged my way up uh, it's three and a half kilometres long with an average gradient of 6% uh, and by the time I got to the top, uh, despite the headwinds and the, the massively strong winds going around some of the corners, I still managed to get a PR uh, and beat my PR by about two and a half minutes. From there we descended back down the coal which was a little bit scary, uh, again the wind's making things very very difficult, normally this is one of my favourite descents, again it's nice and long, very straight, you can pick up quite a speed, but today the wind's made that very very difficult indeed. We got back to Palenza, uh, we had a quick coffee in Tolos and then we headed back down the bay, uh, which uh, was, uh, by this point, we had a, a nice strong tailwind. So we were getting quite a few PRs going down there. And then we headed out through the marshes and had a, a, a block tailwind again. And we absolutely flew through those to the, set, to the town of Sao Pobla. So from Sao Pobla, we rode a few short kilometers to the town of Muro, where we initially planned on getting some refreshments but uh, upon arrival we kind of discovered that the town had almost closed down nothing was open apart from one little bar that didn't serve any uh, food or anything so we decided to push on back to Alcudia which was about uh, 15 kilometers away the road that took us out of town was into a block headwind and it was absolute carnage riding along this road. All you could do was just ride as, as, as sort of best you could, turning the pedals as best you could uh, and just letting the wind do its thing. It was absolutely horrendous uh, and I was jolly glad to, to get off that road and then make the left hand turn along the beach road from Can Pick and Fall back up to Alcudia. And once we'd made that turn, the riding was much, much easier. The, the wind that was a block headwind a few moments earlier had turned into a cross tailwind and that was pushing us back up the bay. So by the time we got back to the hotel, we had just on 70 kilometers in our legs. So all in all, quite a decent ride, especially when you take the headwind into account and how difficult that made it. Apart from the Col de Cruetta, today was fairly flat, with only a small climb coming just before we got back to Cam Pickenfall. I did start to feel the bonk coming on towards the end of the ride, but that was mainly due to not having breakfast and then not getting any refreshments in Muro. And finally, it was also great riding with Jamie. 
This was actually our first ride together, so a big thank you, Jamie, for that. Yeah, I have to say, it's a bit of a sad day today. We've just finished our last ride, uh, and I'm just in the process of taking the bike back to the higher people. They're picking it up at five o'clock, um, and it's gonna be hard to say goodbye. You get emotionally attached to these things. Um, the bike itself has been absolutely fantastic. It's fitted me perfectly. We haven't had any mechanical issues. The gear changes have been beautiful, not even a puncture. So I've been really, really pleased with the bike. Um, we've had some adventures, done over 500 kilometers this week, uh, climbed some epic mountains, and yeah, it's gonna be really, really hard to say goodbye. Love this bike. Love you. <laughs> That's it, done. A couple of hours later and we're in the taxi heading to the airport. On the way there we can see the mountains that a few days earlier we'd been riding in. Yes, it's all very sad, but hopefully we'll be back again soon and climbing them again. So Kev, what did you think of Mallorca? Oh, I've been fantastic. There's six days of riding all around uh, Valencia and the Formentor and the Loop Climb a couple of times. It's been really good fun. Lots of sun, eating lots of steaks in the evening. Be burning off the calories. Uh, a really good time. Good. Kathy, what did you think of Mallorca? Lovely, great weather, um, great scenery, amazing cycling, great food, great drink. Perfect. It's not to like. So that's it, the trip's all over. Uh, I'm just about to get on the plane on the way home. And uh, yeah, look forward to coming back next time. All in all, it has been an amazing trip. On a personal level, I've been the fittest and lightest that I've been in a while. And consequently, I've smashed pretty much all of my Strava PRs while having a load of fun to boot. When I get back to the UK, I plan on continuing with the fitness, although this won't be easy as the weather will be getting colder and the nights drawing in. Basically, I will need my next challenge to keep me motivated. So, as you can see, I'm finally home. The only thing left for me to do now is say a massive thank you, not just to the people who've watched all of the vlogs while I've been out in Mallorca, but to the people who've watched all of the training films along the way, and to everyone who've sent me messages of support and encouragement. You've been amazing. Thanks for watching.